one of those two fights interests you more, Javante Davis or, or, or Terrence Crawford? Whichever monkey wants to get the banana. Okay. All right. So whoever you 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 don't you don't care who which one of them you fight. As nah, well. they say they're gorillas. I'm a lion. I eat them. Let's okay. go. What's up, fight fans? Main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. What up to the fam? What up to everyone in main man, me man's boxing form? Hey, the truth is this. So y'all heard those comments from Teofimo Lopez that came out a bit earlier. And Teofimo Lopez is now called Javante Davis. And my main man turns Crawford monkeys, man. And this is a very unfortunate, man, thing to hear from Teo. Because Teo has already been in hot water from recent comments in the past that he stated about black fighters and how ESPN, he felt as though, was showing them some sort of favoritism. And so, you know, that's when Teofimo Lopez pretty much lost me as, an, as a supporter. And I made it well known here on the channel that I could not support Teofimo Lopez after he said those initial statements. And it looks as if that my decision was the right decision to make. Because Teo clearly doubling down on that point of view by these recent comments. Man, this dude is goofy. You know, one thing I've always called Teo Fimo Lopez, or should I call him Teo Bimbo Lopez, is a straight up airhead. The dude got no intelligence, man. He ain't got no smarts whatsoever. He says the most dumbest, goofiest things. Makes himself look goofy, you know what I'm saying? Remember when he was in the ring talking about some? Do I still got it? Huh? Do I... Do I still got it? Questioning his own self, questioning his own ability. One of the ultimate sins that you can do, questioning yourself. You know what I'm saying? And you got the nerve to be the dude that's jumping into perennial fighters' faces like Javante Davis and like Terrence Crawford when you sitting in there questioning yourself and struggling with fighters like Sandor Martin? For real, fight fans? Man, look, Teofimo Lopez now, bro, he is perhaps maybe even alienated the few black supporters that he had left in his corner to this to this to this day I, after these comments i don't know how anyone that's black can support teofimo lopez and also this also you know goes as far as to the fighters like if i'm a black fighter if you 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 black fighters out there man y'all should not be wanting to give teofimo lopez a payday and i'm talking about more so the ones that he can earn the big bucks with guys like terrence crawford guys like um Javante Davis and even in the Devin Haney's case where in recent interviews Devin Haney came out stating that Turkey Ali Sheik offered the fight to Teofimo Lopez for Devin and Teo turned it down and so my deal is y'all fighters need to stay away from this dude don't give this man no paydays don't give him no clout don't give him no shine that's what he looking to get if he feel like he feel about you why help him out and help his cause or further his cause now, I know there's some maybe in the rankings that say, some black fighters that may say, look, if I'm coming up through the rankings, Teo is a big fight for me, though, man. Man, I got to take that. You know what I'm saying? I kind of understand in that case. But I'm talking about the ones that can be huge, huge fights for Teo, bro. Listen, y'all got to make a stand. Y'all need to not be looking towards the direction of Teo or not looking towards the direction of Ryan. But I'm not, you know, born last night, fight fans. And, you know, some of these fighters are going to say, screw all of this. All that they see is green. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to be a very unfortunate thing. I think that they should make a stance against fighters like Teofimo Lopez and fighters like Ryan Garcia. These fighters should make a stance. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure a lot of fans would support them and love them for it. Now, would they probably, like I say, you look at these controversial statements and in times like we living in today with the internet and Twitter and all of this social media, these type of things, unfortunately, gen up fights. They they pump up fights. They make fights sell. You know what I mean? So fighters can't resist situations like this. But when you're going to stand for something, you know what I mean? That's the difference between fighters like Muhammad Ali of the past and fighters of the day. People always say why Muhammad Ali is the GOAT. And, you know, because he got losses and he lost to this fighter or that fighter. But it's not only because of the great fighter that he was, but also the great man that he was. You know what I mean? And that's what a lot of people appreciate. Even if you did not care much for his fighting ability or whatever, you will always respect the man for the positions that he took and, and how he felt. And he wore he wore it on his sleeves. Today's fighter, they don't seem to have that aspect in them no more. And that's why they cannot reach and, and get to the level of notoriety and, and just love that a fighter like Muhammad Ali 
would have uh, uh, got. You know what I'm saying? So I would love to see fighters in today's time make some kind of stance. Like, you know what, man? When it comes to fighters like Teo, when it comes to fighters like Ryan, I don't want to have nothing to do with y'all. Y'all go about y'all way. I'll find fights somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Real spill. So Javante Davis is already beat ryan garcia so he shouldn't even be thinking about him i know and i know a lot of fans out there may say yo main man i really want to see tank now put hands and feet all over um uh, Teo and or even terrence crawford but at the end of the day the biggest reward for Teo is he may still get his ass whooped no doubt about it and yeah we're gonna chuckle and we're gonna get some satisfaction from it but at the end of the day Teo was still winning that case because he's gonna get a huge lump sum of money for said fights and i don't want to see a dude with this point of view with this mindset i don't want to see him winning like that man you know what i'm saying and so if i can do something to help it i'm not supporting real spill this dude is goofy he's a straight up racist he's now showing us who he is a couple times at this point fight fans and you know if you were like i said a supporter you because you're black and if you were initially supporting Teo, hey listen if the first comments didn't get you off board I don't see how the hell these second comments don't get you off board. So it is what it is. And his pops ain't no damn better. See, his pops is just a knockout just waiting to happen, fight fans. I would love to see his pops in the same space as, say, the Ennises and Bozy Ennises right there. Let's see his pops run his mouth off the way he be running his mouth off from safe spaces. Let's see him run his mouth to Bozy. I see Bozy knocking his ass all the way out, man. His pops get on my nerves. When it comes to the award for the most obnoxious father, I know a lot of y'all out there might say it's Bill Haney, man, man. Hell nah, bro. It's freaking Teofimo Lopez's father, man. You know what I'm saying? This dude is the most obnoxious father in the sport of boxing. He has damn near no knowledge on the sport of boxing. He be saying just as goofy as shit as Teo be saying. But the, the, the only kicker is he does it from safe spaces. Man, he talking about something. He said something in Terrence Crawford's ear or something to that effect. Hey, Pops, Terrence Crawford would knock the off rightest out of your damn bones, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, you fucking with the best fighter on the planet and you gonna run up on him, man. What you like, 75, 95 years old? Man, Terrence Crawford will drop you where you stand and you will go viral for being the first Pops in the sport of boxing and knock the hell out. You know what I'm saying? Real spill, bro. I love to see you mouth off against another father, uh, a Kenny Porter or a uh, a uh, Bozy Ennis or something to that effect. You know what I'm saying? I'd love to see that somebody knock your ass out. Man, get both of these goofballs up out of the sport of boxing if you ask me, fam. Because one ain't no better than the other. Teo is the most goofiest, racist boxer in the sport. And I would love to see other fighters take a stance against Teo Fimo low play. Other black fighters take a stance. Or fighters in general, you know what I'm saying? Take a stance against Teo Fimo Lopez. Boycott Teo. Real spill. Thumbs up on the way out. If you didn't hit it on the way in, share, share, share. Rock the bells. We talk about this in the live stream. To the next video. He don't deserve no more black dollars. To the next video. Peace out.